game of the day. The best conference in college basketball this year, the Big Ten Conference. It's been an absolute gauntlet. All of the contenders in that are going to have an absolute slog fest if they want to get through Indianapolis and the Big Ten tournament later in the year unscathed. And two teams that hope to be there at the end of the season in the Big Ten, Iowa and Rutgers. Another top 15 matchup here with the number 10 Hawkeyes and the number 14 Scarlet Knights going at it in Piscataway, the trapezoid of terror. The rack for Rutgers has been a little bit quiet this year, of course, as it is across the country, but it's still been a big advantage for them. Scarlet Knights are 3-1 and one in Big Ten play. Only loss so far is to um, – they only have one loss in the Big Ten. They're 7-1 and one on the season, 4-3-1 and one against the spread, 6-2. and two versus the over for the Hawkeyes. They come off of two losses, eight and two on the season, two and one in the Big Ten, coming off a loss a few days ago to Minnesota. They've played a game since then and been able to bounce back. They're fifth in the Ken Palm and seven and three against the spread, eight and two versus the over, something to keep an eye on there. We'll get to that in a second. For Iowa, of course, the biggest story is Luca Garza, the absolute scoring machine. Obviously, at this point, nearly a lock for the Wooden Award as the best player in college basketball, and he's going to have a big night tonight. But the other big story for the Hawkeyes, and when you look against that loss to Minnesota and another potential All-American in Marcus Carr for the Golden Gophers, the key to that game was the Hawkeyes didn't shoot great. Luca Garza had a nice game inside, still 32 points for the big man out of Washington, D.C. But if you look on the outside, 10 for 30 as a team from deep range. Jordan Bohannon went one for seven. They're going to need better outside shooting because that's how the Gophers beat them. They weren't necessarily able to contain Iowa on the boards down low, but they were able to outshoot Iowa from beyond the arc from deep with Marcus Carr and Brandon Johnson, some of the other deep threats that Minnesota had. And Rutgers is going to be able to simulate that. Uh, don't necessarily know the status of guys like Ron Harper Jr. and Jacob Young. Uh, Harper Jr. missed the last game versus Purdue. A nice win for Rutgers without him over the Boilermakers. Jacob Young was injured in that loss to Ohio State. Um, and, and that's a little concerning. You're still working Geo Baker back from that ankle injury. And the big question for me for Rutgers is the foul trouble. Again, talking about that Ohio State loss, they led by double digits midway through the second half. Miles Johnson, their guy down low, fouled out with about eight minutes to go in that game. Really inopportune moment for the Scarlet Knights as they went on to lose that game basically by double digits. I mean, it was nearly a 20-point swing in the time that Johnson fouled out to the end of that game. And you can't have your big man doing that against a team like Iowa because they will take advantage of you down low. They live on the offensive boards, 27 offensive rebounds, 28 defensive rebounds in that game against Minnesota. They offensive, they live on the offensive boards at a 37% rate. Iowa will make you pay for not being able to guard their offensive misses. Luca Garza will live under the glass, live with the putbacks and rack up his points there. You need to be able to answer Iowa from the outside and maintain some sort of defensive presence down low. Rutgers cannot do that if Miles Johnson gets himself in foul trouble again. The Scarlet Knights are 7-0 and straight up in their last seven games at home, 6-1 and against the spread in their last seven games against a Big Ten opponent. Iowa is 6 and 2 straight up in the last 8 against Rutgers and 1 and 6 straight up in their last 7 on the road 7 and 2 against the spread in their last 9 games. Iowa is a 2 and a half point favorite on the road the over under is 159 and if you're feeling frisky you can get Rutgers on the money line for plus 127. Best bet here is going to be Iowa and the spread. I like them to cover the two and a half points. I think Rutgers keeps it interesting. I'm going to go with the over 159 as well. But I like Rutgers or Iowa, excuse me, on the road minus two and a half.